Spartans have the reputation to consider. Choose your next words carefully, Leonidas. They may be your last as king. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of JB Saltwater Fish Tank and Friends. We are here in my neighborhood and I am giving you guys views of what it looks like in uh, Broward when it comes to a hurricane. As you can see, everybody has their shutters up, including myself. I even have the ones that go on the front door. As I have that double door, this one's not hurricane rated, so it opens inward instead of outwards, which can, with strong gusts of wind coming in that tall entranceway, can cause um, the doors to uh, uh, go, uh, open up. So that being said, I had to make sure that I was prepared. A lot of people ask me, how do you get prepared for a hurricane? Um, I got a lot of uh, private messages on. Instagram referenced this for some reason they didn't want to ask it publicly like I mean it mattered that much but what happened is um, number one you got to make sure that you have a house that is able to withstand a hurricane and what I mean by that is that uh, you can't live in a wooden house <laughs> you know what I mean at least hopefully be something that's brick and water so you don't have any issues when it comes to the wind which you're still hearing at this current moment um, it's not completely over we have some people that are taking down their shutters because uh, they're tired of being in the dark like me so I'm gonna start in a few minutes um, but and then you have the others who have the accordions I actually have regular shutters because when I purchased the house that's what it came with but I plan on getting accordions um, because I'm not gonna spend what I think they they quoted me 40 grand for some uh, uh, hurricane proof windows and just to watch stuff impact my window isn't fun so I'm um, definitely not planning on doing that so my whole goal now is to get these off and we'll go through the neighborhood to talk about to talk about uh, what I did to prepare all right we'll start with step one since i'm already out here step one have some type of protection for your windows whether it's uh panels uh, whether it's accordions or whether it's high impact windows i have um, panels that mines are affixed with butterfly screws me personally um the, uh, i don't mind the work that it takes to put them up because you can always get two or three friends and make a make a day out of it and you go from house to house doing it which is fine and then when they're gone they're gone they don't take up room you know they're not um there there's no items all over your floor or whatever that that you have to look at on a daily basis and get annoyed by um like with with the uh with the accordions as you can see it has like that top base piece that stays there all the time constantly all right um number two is have a great generator um what happened is dewalt makes a 7000 watt generator um it, mine should be here in a couple days i have a smaller generator that i use but being the fact that i got a bigger house i need a bigger generator to support it and also i'm gonna have a standby generator um, connected to the house um, that's coming soon also so I'll make a video on that um, what happened is with the standby generator as soon as the power goes off it kicks on once a month it does a self maintenance check and it works perfectly um, the other thing is is that I have the backup generator just because I said you know what um, especially because I'm now building King Leonidas is gonna be a SPS tank I want something to run that dedicated 
um, during a storm uh, if my power goes out. I'm not worried about the Spartan as much. I'm not worried about um, Xerxes as much either, but because King Leonidas is going to be my first SPS tank, I want to make sure that I went above and beyond for it. So above and beyond, I already started with the stand. Now I have the generator. Um, next, I'm doing the wall decor first, you know, designing what the, that whole wall is going to look like. And then, um, then I'm going to put on the tank. I still have to route the top of the stand. I haven't gotten around to doing that. And I got a couple other things to do. So uh, we'll go ahead and um, cut this video here. And uh, we'll come back maybe in another snippet to show you guys um, what it looks like once the generator gets here what that looks like and also um, I'll probably uh, com combine this with the uh, uh, putting the tank on the stand video also I have the uh, painting of the tank video that will be coming out also so you guys stay tuned for that thank you All right, so uh, this is stand unwrapped. Uh, we went ahead and cut the top. Uh, the holes are nine by nine. Um, I made them squared instead of the, uh, that, uh, I guess, baseball diamond shape or whatever we started doing the baseball diamond, but I decided that this tank is too heavy to uh, try to adjust bulkheads if need be. Um, in an awkward position so um, so the holes are already done um, I haven't gotten to the core of the wall and I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to do the uh, the lights I'm thinking L brackets like custom made L brackets I found this like nice style that I'm using in my garage um, that I want to have a, a bigger version of it fabricated uh, to match the same color as the fixture, uh, as a fixture, and then hang hang that on the wall, and then with the fixture connected to it or whatever. Um, I don't want the, uh, I don't want. Uh, initially, I was gonna make some L brackets and have them on the tank, but I decided that I would rather hang it. Um, my roof is pitched, so I can't do it from the roof. Um, and if I did, I can, but I don't want to. Because uh, I think the cable will be too way too long and But I, I'll, I'll hold out on that until I guess until I see how um, uh, How how tall the tank looks on the stand um, I need a couple guys to get it on the stand. So I'm just waiting for them to show up um, also uh, I was thinking about getting like a, a winch like a remote controlled winch to go to, to bring the light up and down so I can work on the tank. So I'm um, looking into that. Uh, the ones I've seen were in the overseas market. I haven't seen any in the US market, but if you guys know anybody who does make them or sell them, please uh, send me the link and I'd highly appreciate it. Well, um, so I'll let you guys know when we get this tank on the stand and uh, so you guys can see what it looks like. Thanks.